everyone. Uh, welcome to the September 14th meeting of the Abington Finance Committee. Uh, welcome back. It's been a couple of months since we met. Um, we have a few things on the agenda tonight. Uh, not a not a huge agenda, so it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too long of a meeting. Uh, the first thing on the agenda, the first item up for bids tonight, uh, is going over a follow-up from Monday night's uh, Board of Selectmen meeting where we, several of us, appeared before the selectmen to request and petition that we be given back a special municipal employee status. Um, most of us were there. Um, several of us spoke. The selectmen gave their uh, reasoning which was to try to uh, limit as much as possible the boards that have the boards or committees or individuals that have special municipal employee status for the purposes of not uh, appearing to have any unethical goings-on in the town or any improprieties any special favor be being given to people because they are members of boards people who are representing uh, businesses their own or otherwise um, and uh, several members spoke. I spoke. Katie Comas, who's not here tonight, spoke. Sean Tyler, who is also not here tonight, spoke. Um, and the the Board of Selectmen voted three to two to return special municipal employee status to our committee. Um, and we appreciate their trust and, and faith in our ability to perform ethically. Any, any uh, questions or comments from anyone who was there or not there? All right. Uh, next item is liaison assignments. Uh, one of the things that we need to do each year is to assign liaisons uh, to the different departments in town. We have handed out to everybody a list of last year's liaison assignments. Uh, we have, I think, one new member since last year and one person who has left. Um, Katie could not be here tonight. I asked her specifically if she had any departments that she was uh, interested in being the liaison for, and she said that there were none that, that were of specific interest to her, and she would look forward to us assigning any that, that we assigned to her. And so all of them? Liaison. Yes, so all of them, yes. Her and The Sean. notes will reflect. Her and Sean. <laughs> <laughs> notes will reflect. Sean and Katie will get all of the liaison <laughs> assignments. No. Um, Sorry, I'm looking up. I have an email from, from Rick LaFond for the other two agenda items that I'm trying to recall, but we'll get to that. So uh, one of the things to note on the list that we have, uh, we have the highway and park and rec, uh, which are now part of the Department of Public Works. Um, and anyone remind me, the, there is one other department that's now part of the DPW, a sewer, I believe. Is that Yep. Okay, so we can cross off sewer and add that to the DPW. Uh, the first department is the Board of Selectmen, which is uh, typically the chair and vice chair, which would be myself and Liggy. Uh, slight change from last year when Sean was the vice chair. Unless anyone has any objections, I think we'll continue that tradition. And then I'd ask if anybody has specific departments that they would like to either continue or switch to going. Um, and I'll start with Cindy to the right. I would like to do police. All right, Cindy would like police. Anybody else want police? All right, so Cindy can be. Uh, I'll stay on as assistant on the police. Okay, so Cindy and Peter for police. Um, any others? I like town clerk. Okay, 
Lisa for town clerk. Um, we need a new second for town clerk. Okay. I'd like uh, DPW. Mike will stay on for DPW. Uh, Sean was the second there. Do we want to keep him, or is there anybody that wants to jump in? Right. I'd like yeah. veterans agent. Okay. I'd like to keep it. <laughs> uh, you guys were primary and secondary. Do we want to flip flop for the year? Yeah. All right. As long as I get school building committee, mm -hmm. that's the only one Absolutely. I really want. I, I would have objected if anybody uh, wanted to steal that from me. You've done a very good job with that. Um, I was the second on the school building committee. Uh, does anyone want to preempt me or should I stay on there? I will stay. I'm beginning to feel age. I'm not counsel of aging. All right. I will um, second on that. All right. Can I do billing, Speaker? You can. Wiggy, do you want to stay as second on building inspector? Building inspector, second on building, correct. Who's primary? Uh, Sean. Sean was, Peter as. Oh, oh Peter, that's okay. Um, oh, did you take building? I didn't take building. No, Peter just did. Uh, are there any specific that we would like to, that we think would be a good fit for Katie or for Sean? Before Katie we, Fire? Before we get too far. Fire sounds good. Uh, Lisa, you were second on fire before. Do you want to stay? Yeah, that's fine. If anybody doesn't have any objections, school. I was actually going to ask for school. Right. We the switched. School? Yeah, regular school, not school building committee. What Peter has the, school what building. What about the vote, Zach? you want me to replace you there? On um, Votech. Oh, Votech I was secondary was, there. Yeah, Votech was Mike. Before, Mike's do you want to? You want to take primary? I'll take secondary. Sure. That's Sasha Votech. Yes. Okay, what about the school? So who's which school? So we had. It was uh, Rebecca Peter, and. Had Barbara and Peter both interested? Do you guys want to duke it duke it out for who gets first? Sure. I don't know. The only reason I'd, I've been, I've done a lot of talking with Peter Schaefer over the year because of the school building committee. Any, uh, anybody up for the. Uh, Wait a minute. Can we. Let's yeah, school I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Here, I'm sorry. What? I missed. Well, we no, we're finishing. I don't know how you want to do that. Yeah, I don't know how you want to do that. Um, if you're on the school building committee, you want to have the school, you feel the need to have the primary for the school too? I, I, I would like it because like I said, I've gotten to know uh, Mr. Schaefer really well. Because he sits right in front of me to the left. Yeah, <laughs> that's the point though of like being liaisons is we kind of switch around and do well on Whatever. that. You can have it. Okay. You? For, for school. school. So Barbara and then Peter. Uh, I will nominate Katie, no offense to Liggy, for Board of Health. I think it's one of her areas of specialty. Okay, yeah. Liggy and Cindy were both on that before. I don't know if either of you want to stay. I could be second. Could I take water? Okay. You have anybody that wants to second on water? Call the water. Second. Library, if nobody else wants library. I'll second with that, Cindy. We have not done accountant, assessor, and treasurer, or IT. 
Uh, what do we want to give to Sean and what do we want to give to Katie? Or does anybody want either of those? Put Sean on the, Sean on the counter. And uh, I can take a second on that if nobody wants it. I definitely want to stay involved with IT. Okay. I can take second on that one. What did we end up with for Votech? Uh, for Votech, we ended up with Wiggy and Mike. And Mike, right? And Mike. Yep. And that runs the list. Um, I will send okay, we moved that into yep. DBW. I will, I will send out the full list uh, on email tomorrow. Uh, Deb, I'll send it to you as well. And I'll send that out to the department heads as well so that they um, have your email and they have your names and information. Um, I would suggest that uh, each of you send emails then to the department heads, introduce yourself if it's something that you're new to, uh, so you can start to build that relationship. Um, setting up tours for the committee and things like that are definitely good things to do. Uh, and, uh, is this next September? Yes. Thinking, we I don't think we got any tours in last year. Um, I know we did water. Oh, um, but that was close. Now when we don't closer have closer to a year ago. We haven't been having a fall town meetings or not. As I'm wondering if maybe it might be a good idea to try and see if we can't get the um, tours set up. Yeah, I think that's a during good the idea. time that we would have been preparing for well no I'm, I'm wondering if because we have meetings on Wednesday nights if sometimes the tours might, might well, replace, we're not going to be going over budget replace, items replace the Wednesday night meetings right. I think that's a very good idea tours do not have to be at 14 correct no I just meant everyone's available usually for the so most we part have to post them on yep so maybe if we shot for Wednesday nights for tours we'd get a yeah. good turnout yeah. of people as opposed to like trying to fit in a Saturday or an additional have we done a fire mm -hmm. we have not in a little while right the fire truck not since the new um, I don't slide, know. slide down the pole not since the new um, not since the truck. new truck I've I, I've gone when they've had the trucks out over here between the town hall and the library a few times and I've gotten to get a tour of all the trucks then but uh, that was more of an all-town open house of sorts that they've done but I don't think we've had a tour with them and we definitely haven't had since the new truck so and DPW is all changed you know the, yeah. that's changed a lot since last on the one. 28th I'm kind of jumping into my report on the school building committee they are going to do a tour of the status of the school at 5 o'clock 28th of September 28th of September Anybody who's interested in going, that's send two me. Weeks, right? What? Two yes, weeks. Two weeks yes. from tonight. So that's a Wednesday night. It's a Wednesday night. Uh, so if any, time. five o'clock. Obviously at the school. Uh, <laughs> if anybody's interested, please let me know, and I'll make sure it's okay with the chairman. But I don't think it should be a problem. Excellent. They have tons of hard hats. You guys will be amazed if you go. Mm -hmm. Been on the new fields with the uh, youth football program, so I've seen some of the some of the progress they've made, and it's pretty pretty outstanding. So. Looking very good. All right, I think that completes the liaison assignment portion of the meeting. Um, so I will just quickly find that email from Rick to give you the update on the free cash and the preliminary budget discussion. Apologize for not being able to be here himself. He had a conflict. Mm, 
Windy out Wind there. is kicking up for those watching on TV. And the Wi-Fi is not fast. for the delay. There we are. All right, so a uh, couple of statements for free cash. The status of free cash is our next Agenda item, the town accountant will be submitting the final FY 2016 calculation to the Department of Revenue in the state by the end of this month. Uh, we anticipate approximately two week turnaround time for the Department of Revenue to file the certification. So about a month from now, we'll know the final number for 2016 free cash. Uh, when we do know that number, Rick will get it to us. Uh, for the budget schedule, we are looking very much for the similar schedule to last year. Uh, we do have um, our subcommittee that is has been has been formed that we talked about at our last meeting, where Barbara and Cindy are going to be working with uh, the town moderator and the town <coughs> manager and possibly some others to go over uh, some of the finer details of how the budget is how the budget process has gone over. Is there any update? Have you guys had no, any I haven't heard anything. contact? Okay, I'll, I'll follow back up with Sean Riley, the town moderator, on that to see what the status of that is and make sure that that's progressing. But the overall um, sort of general outline of the schedule is that um, departmental budget requests will be done in late October, um, due back to the town accountant by the end of October. Internal budget meetings will start in November. Uh, the preliminary budget will be prepared and distributed by December 15th. And the formal budget transmission will be provided to the Finance Committee on or by January 20th. So the middle to end of January is when we'll start to really uh, get into the weeds of the new budget for next year. Also uh, of note, by the end of October, the departments need to be um, putting in requests for things to be put on the five-year capital plan that the town manager is putting together. And that was all that I had on that. Were there any other comments or questions on the budget timeline? Um. Just the last thing that you had talked about, the, um, the departments would be submitting their capital requests. Any idea if we're going to be looking at capital in October? Obviously not. Uh, no, it was for um, the annual town meeting. So we're gonna, He's putting a plan together to be presented at the annual town meeting. So we'll be doing capital items along with, our, with the budget? Uh, uh, that, that is the preliminary plan. And that was the first that I'd heard of it. So I think hopefully that that is a sign that uh, things are turning in the right direction as far as the economy and receipts go. So. Moving along, if no one else has any other comments or questions. Uh, liaison reports. Pete started to give a little bit of his report, but I'm assuming there's more. Yeah, we had a meeting last night. Um, work continues at a really good pace. They've done some major inspections that have all come out very well. Um, they intend, as I've said in the past, to have it fully enclosed, the building, uh, within a month. The basic thing that's missing right now are the windows. Uh, the brickwork is almost done. They're already doing a lot of the work in the interior. They're actually putting up the final walls in the gym and painting them and all that kind of stuff. So they're uh, moving along at a good pace. And again, um, the committee is having 
a tour of the school on the 28th at 5 o'clock. Um, so if you all could let me know if you want to go. Um, I'll reach out to Rich. I'm sure there wouldn't be any problem at all with that. Um, they've spent almost 50 million of the 88 million that's committed. So <laughs> it's moving quite along. Mm -hmm. uh, still finding uh, you know, all kinds of ledge and so forth in the ground, but uh, most of that work is done now. That's been the biggest problem. And if that's only the biggest problem, we'll be lucky. Mm -hmm. um, and as of course, some of you know, the field's totally done, been turned over to the town, and is now in use. And uh, they say they've gotten rave reviews on it. On the, you've been yes, on it. I have, yep. It's, uh, it's very nice. Very there's well, some well more put stuff. Together. They're going to put some nets up so that they keep balls from going hither, hither, and yonder. But yep. um, they're working on that. I know as there's well. a question about when the, the lights will be will have power to that's them, but well, the, the whole thing is when we get power in <laughs> exactly and uh, the work they're pushing national grid on that for that and gas because by October they want to have it so that uh, they're going to use the actual heating system for the school to keep the building warm during the winter of course the co the contractor pays for the gas but uh, they find it a lot more efficient than using space heaters and all that kind of stuff so um, but they anticipate the system being online and functional. By Plus, they can dry run the system. Yeah. Absolutely right. Not only, through, but yeah, through a winter. Yeah, but the no, it's what the, and get they're looking the for a consistent temperature around the mm -hmm. whole building yeah. as well. Because if you have heaters in one area, it may be a twenty or thirty degree difference in other areas. So if you have the one that's for the school working, it's consistent temperature all throughout. And again, we'll be good in the uh, finish work. So, um, are they still running ahead of schedule? Yes. Uh, the, every time I ask them, they're kind of hesitant, hesitant to, to give a number. Yes. But I, I would hesitant. say you could easily say they're a good two months ahead, because um, last winter was a, a godsend to them. And again, this this summer, although it's been dry, it's not been good for a lot of things. It's been great for construction. Mm. So. If there is a warranty in any of that heating stuff, and they use that for a whole year, then you should consider negotiating an extra year on the warranty. It's true you're going to get a dry run and, and cut the systems out, but in essence, in there you're going to be using the system for a year. That includes blowers and includes furnaces. And right. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know when the warranty starts, but I would assume it would start when it's installed, so whether it's used or not. So. I can find out though. Yeah. That's really a good point. Again, they've done not only you know the state comes in and looks at everything as well because a lot of it's their money and all the inspections. You know they found minor things hither, yither, and yonder, but they said that they've been really impressed with the the quality of the work. So who actually does the inspection? They you have, have engineer. The they have engineers come in, you know, building inspectors and so forth. But they're not hired by, they're hired um, by the state. So it's not like, you know, they're getting somebody who would give them a good nod just because. I think the overseeing authority has their own. School um, building. Right. right the, yeah. The, the MSBCA. Right. I believe they have like. And the um, and and the con we. And the uh, contractor also has, well, not the contractor, but the people supervising it have people coming in all the time testing everything. Clerk of the works. So. So thank you, Peter. Yep. Uh, does anyone else have any other liaison reports? Any other departments with uh, financial issues going on? Anything you're talking to you guys about? All right. Correspondence. Uh, we have been off for two months. We have a stack. So we have first item up is from the Association of Town Finance Committees. It is a invoice for our dues for being a town finance member of the Association of Town Finance Committees. 
right to Deb. And it's going over to Deb. Thank you, Deb. And the annual dues are? I believe it was $276. Is that correct? $236. $236. I overshot. <laughs> Had the two and the six, right? Uh, item number two, also from the Association of Town Finance Committees. Uh, this one's a little more fun for us. This is the notice of the, um, the annual meeting for the Town Finance Committee uh, Association. And it is Saturday, October 15th at the Devons Common Center, uh, which I believe is formerly Fort Devons. Correct. And it is a meeting with workshops and sessions, and anyone that has not been to it should definitely consider going. It's a very, uh, very um, highly recommended. They have lots of things and I want to go over it. So the, the schedule of it, uh, at 8.15 a.m. there is a registration breakfast um, at 9.30, the president, uh, Miss Mary McBride from Bill Ricca, welcomes everyone. The opening speaker is at 9.40 to 10.30. Uh, it's the uh, Eileen McAnany, McAnany uh, president of the Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation. Uh, from 10.30 to noon, there are workshops. There are four different workshops. Four different workshops, Budgeting 101, Analyzing Financial Statements, uh, Challenges of Regional School Funding, and How to Be an Effective Finance Committee. And you can choose one of those and go to it, or you can bounce around. Um, from 1 to 2.30, uh, after that is lunch, and then from 1 to 2.30 there are more workshops, uh, Municipal Law Update, Finance Trend Monitoring, and the True Cost of Employment. I think you only get to choose one. Like I think you have to choose and so, register for one, and then um, for each the 10:30 to noon. I think, I believe, and then you register that will for one be for the, in the registration portion. Next Doesn't time. Yep. And I remember having a hard time deciding on which, <laughs> which one, to, one to go to. Yeah, and I think you had to kind of pick one, but all at the same time. Yep. Um, and so if somebody is interested in going, there is, we have a form to attend. It is payment may be made in advance or on the day of the meeting. It is $45 for first time and new, less than one year on the committee attendees. Uh, $55 for all finance committee members that are not first time or new and 65 for other local officials uh, or for finance committee members from non-dues paying communities. So we save 10 to $20 per person for paying our dues. And that, just so people know, oh, yes. that's, um, Deb, you let Deb know if you want to go and she, not anymore? Is no. that? <laughs> It's not in the budget. What's what's that Mona Lisa smile mean? That's my discussion. Okay. Okay. Who makes the arrangements to go? The individual? Uh, that is something that will be arranged by the board secretary, uh, our appointed secretary, uh, Katie Comas. I wasn't. I was wondering about. I think. I think the Barbara's cost. question is if we have the, if the cost is covered by our budget, or if the cost is covered by the individual. Yeah. So if you want my... to go, that is paid by the town. Right. So you don't let you let Katie know, and she arranges for it. But it, you don't have to pay for it. Is what I was getting at. That is also, um, Abington celebrates Oktoberfest weekend, mm -hmm. so I won't be able to go. Lots of events planned around town? Yes, definitely. It's a big weekend around town. Actually, Lisa, do you want to mention some of the events? I think now would be a good I time. I don't to... have them on the top of my head. Uh, um, 
Friday night is um, German Fest. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that what we're calling? Yeah. At yeah. the Polish yeah. Club. Yes. Um, Saturday night will be a movie night right outside at the gazebo. And Sunday, a couple things. Uh, there are other things going on besides, but uh, Sunday there's a, a classic car show at Lowe's in the afternoon. Classic car, classic car show. show. I believe Sunday is the pancake breakfast uh, for the Lions, but uh, I'm not positive. I don't have it memorized yet. <laughs> Lots of things going on. Abington celebrates as a Facebook page. So. The town website? I don't know if it's on the town website. I didn't or. see it when I was on there the other day. But, but there's a Facebook page, there's there's a Abington, Facebook celebrates. page Abington, Abington celebrates. Abington celebrates. So. <laughs> you can still go look at the page. <laughs> you don't even have to sign in to do that. Yeah. Yeah, how, how, uh, how long a ride to Devon's on the Saturday afternoon? Well, I used, I used to be out the door around 5, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, <laughs> right back? An uh, hour, hour and a half, somewhere in there. It's not too bad. Things over by two thirty. Thing is over. It ends, I believe, it was two thirty. Yes. But that was before they worked on Route Two, and I don't know how much they worked on that because they were tearing it up last couple of years ago. Um, last spring, I went out. Or this past spring, I went out Route Two to to Fitchburg for youth basketball, and Route Two was in the best shape that it had ever been on when I oh, been okay. in when it's I drove on it. It was. Definitely uh, an easier ride heading west on Route Two. So, no more rotaries and stop and go. And My God! Yeah, <laughs> definitely a welcome welcome change. Uh, but if you are interested, uh, let Katie know. Let me know. I'll make sure that Katie knows about the details of it and arranging it. So, and we'll let Deb know. If how many people are going and paying the bills and stuff. All right, continuing with correspondence, because we have so much, we have two episodes of The Beacon. Uh, is there anyone that is particularly itching to read a copy of it? Are they both the same? They're not. There's the September and the June issues. Barbara's going the one for, with Charlie Baker on the cover, and the other one has House and Senate budgets headed to committee. I'll take it if nobody wants it. And then we have some information from the municipal advocate. We have the uh, municipal advocate uh, magazine, and we have the Massachusetts municipal directory. It's a big book full of people who are municipal employees and I'm guessing special municipal employees <laughs> <laughs> maybe some do you think it says that next to I don't think I don't think it probably uh, Alex maybe yeah bold <laughs> maybe they're listed in red it's not want to leave it's shrink wrap Is it for the Can I make one more thing in the correspondence? Absolutely. I will get more information, but a friend of mine that works at Brockton City Hall says the city is putting on something in the next month or so on somebody from state ethics will come out and talk about open meeting laws and any kind of new mm -hmm. things that are going on. And she said it's going to be off and around, so she'll let me know the date and the time okay, in place. So I will follow up with that. Excellent. That would definitely be something good and informative. Is all I have for correspondence. Does anyone else have anything? Any other announcements or anything of that sort? 
All right, review of minutes. Uh, very detailed and well-prepared minutes from our last meeting where uh, Cindy had to attend but not really attend. She was not sworn back in yet uh, and we had uh, a very, very close to not having a quorum because of that, but we did have our quorum. Uh, Motion to approve the meeting minutes of um, July 20th, 2016. A motion is there a second? We have a second. Uh, yeah, is there any? I suggest uh, a typo correction. Mm. Uh, there are the very, line very. The first long paragraph. I think it that must be Miss Barbara Ray. Oh, we spelled Ray with an oh. Y instead of an E. <laughs> it wants me to be R A Y. There's a ray of sunshine. I'm correct that before. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And I'm sorry, who was the second? Uh, Mike. Any further discussion or comment? Without any further, uh, vote all those in favor of approving the minutes. Say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? All right, it is approved. Are there any other motions or points of discussion? Our next, our next meeting um, will be in October. I am going to say it will probably, looking at my calendar really quickly, if I can find my calendar. <laughs> looking at the calendar, it will probably be October 19th the third Wednesday in October. I'm going, before officially scheduling it, I'm going to check with Rick to make sure that we have the free cash numbers and, and that kind of information so that we know exactly when that's coming. I'd rather meet a week later if we're gonna have that information than, than meet and not have information that we'd go over, so. Uh, but it will likely be October 19th. For our next meeting. So if anyone came up with a um, tour. Yes. Like in the meantime, the 5th or the 12th or? Or the 26th. Any other comments, questions, points to bring up, motions to make? Motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you all.